to know about Keqing is that she's actually really fun to play. And if you do own her, uh, you're most likely going to have a blast. Because we're just playing with a really fast attack speed. Obviously, if you get a weapon that increases attack speed as well, like a 5-star weapon, for example, it will be pretty fun to play. And overall, she just rocks the battlefield with style, with just her super fast lightning moves. Hey, what's up guys? This is Alex, and today we're going to be playing Genshin Impact, and we're bringing you guys a guide on Kaching. Now, who is Kaching? She's currently probably the fastest attack speed character of the game along with Xiangling. Uh, she has a really cool moveset. She uses a one-handed weapon and she's an electro character. So let's go through Kaching's uh, stats real quick. Yeah. She has almost nearly 2000 attack. Obviously her weapon is not as great. Uh, she's using a Lion's War that's only refined rank 2. I could probably use a 3-star weapon but I am confident I'm going to be able to refine this a little bit more. If we go into the details real quick, we're using a little bit of crit, a little bit of crit damage as well. I was hoping to get a bit more crit rate to be honest, but um, this is what we have right now. And we're using physical damage right now, which I would have much preferred to have electro damage bonus because of how our E ability uh, works. Now for the weapon, as I was saying, we are using Lion's Roar because it increased damage against enemies affected by either Pyro or Electro. Uh, since we are using a Xiangling and a Keqing and Faisal in our team right now. Obviously you're going to want to enhance to refine your weapon as much as possible. It's going to have a really positive impact. Uh, there are other really good 3 uh, star weapon that you could be using. The Skyrider Greatsword for its energy recharge and the uh, the increase in attack and movement speed for uh, 15 seconds, which is pretty interesting. The fillet blade is also always a good option for a 3-star weapon, considering the big burst of attack percentage uh, that you can get from this weapon, uh, especially once it's refined to level 5. Now, you could get also the Dark Iron Sword, which is a pretty rare sword. I actually found it only once from an NPC. This actually involves the elemental reactions, so it might... It is a very interesting sword, however, I think it might be tricky at first to refine it to rank 5. Now, it could also be viable to use the Flute or the Prototype Rancor on Keqing. There's also various other decent weapons that could fit uh, her role. Now, for the artifacts, we're actually going to go through the artifacts a little bit faster than usual, just because uh, I don't have the best install artifacts that I would actually want for Keqing. Right now, I'm using a two set piece of Gladiator, but it's really mainly because I'm somewhat limited in the uh, gear that I have right now. We're using a plus 16 flower for Berserker. Unfortunately, we can't uh, finish the set. It would have been really useful though to have at least the two set piece bonus for the crit rate. For the flower, it's just a lot of flat attack, so that's what we're using also with a Gladiator set. For this uh, third slot, we are using just uh, one of the artifacts that we had that has really high attack percentage. Now for this goblet, this is why, uh, this is one of the pieces that's actually a little bit sad for me, is that for Kiching I would have actually really liked it to be electro percent damage instead of physical because of how our E ability works. But it still gives us a good amount of white damage whenever we're not benefiting from the E uh, that transform our damage into electro and also the obviously the two set piece bonus. Now for this last piece, it is again a non-set uh, bonus because we, we, we didn't complete it, but it does grind us a lot of attack percentage. Now the set piece, the set bonus that we would actually recommend to get as Kaching would be Thundering Fury. It is a set that is going to take a, a little while to get, uh, probably around Adventure Rank uh, 35 plus and even 40 plus if you want the orange version. But basically what this set does is going to boost your electro damage bonus by 15% whenever you're going to have two pieces. And the four piece uh, bonus is actually going to increase your damage caused by overload. Electro charge and super conduct by 40%. Such effects decrease the mental skill cooldown by one second and can only occur once every 0 0.8 seconds. So getting a actually a four set piece for this, I believe would be a really amazing set for Kaching. Now, obviously, once you're going to start really farming your five star artifacts, you will be looking for very specific stats on these pieces. Uh, you're going to be looking for electro percent damage, attack uh, percentage, uh, critical hit uh, damage, critical hit rate. So a lot of these stats are going to be present when the item rolls, 
when you uh, actually upgrade to level like 4, 8, 12, 16, and 20, they're always going to roll new stats and you're going to be hoping for offensive stats to make your Kaching as bursty as possible. Now for Kaching's uh, talents, the first talent is the obvious one. It's always your main or two attacks for one of the weapons. So five rapid strike and you do charge attack for two rapid strikes. The values obviously are going to increase by quite a bit whenever you're going to upgrade these talents. Uh, for the stellar restoration, which is whenever you're going to throw your dagger and then you're going to be able to teleport to it after you teleport again it will do electro damage and um, this is actually pretty useful because you can actually throw it on enemies or in the air uh, to even do like plunge attacks and stuff like this so this is one of her move set that kind of feels like minato in, Nar in naruto anime so where she she teleports the dagger that she throws so it's pretty an awesome move with a lot of stylish points and it is pretty fun to use now for star wars sword uh, this is actually her uh, ultimate uh, she's going to be able to face a group of enemies and just teleport everywhere and just do a whole lot of damage with her sword is going to be electro damage it will do a aoe and pretty much hit everything that's actually pretty close nearby to you and actually whenever you're going to be oh. using your ultimate this next ability aristocratic uh, dignity is actually also going to benefit and synergize with that by increasing your crit rate by 15 percent and your energy recharge by another 15 percent and this would last for f uh, for eight seconds now for thundering penance this is whenever you're going to be using using your E ability uh, within five seconds of like the second time you're going to use it is going to transform your normal and charge attacks uh, into electro damage. Now for a passive, it's not that great. It's just something about expeditions being a little bit faster in Liu region. So now for Kaching's constellation, uh, they're all mostly pretty good. Uh, the first one, uh, Thundering Might, is that recasting Stellar Restoration while, act while a Lightning Stellar is present causes Kaching to deal 50% of her attack as AoE Electro Damage at the start point and terminus point of her blink. This is actually really, really good especially against uh, big uh, groups of enemies. Uh, Keen Extraction is going to activate whenever Ching does normal and charge attack hits against enemies affected by Electro. And you're going to have a 50% chance of producing elemental particles. So this is actually pretty useful as well. Uh, this effect only occurs once every 5 seconds. This third ability is a bit more straightforward, just like any character. It's just increasing your uh, ultimate le level by 3 so of the talent so it's pretty good obviously but i mean it is pretty straightforward uh, constellation for attunement uh, for 10 seconds after for 10 second after kitchen actually triggers an electro related elemental reaction or attack is increased by 25 percent so this is pretty insane the, i mean the fourth uh, talent is really really good uh beckoning star is just still a re restoration going up by three level for the talent so that's fine and then tenacious star is when initiating a normal attack a charge attack Elemental skill or elemental burst, Kitching is going to gain a 6% electro damage bonus for 8 seconds. Now, do note that Kitching is a 5 star character, and as such, getting all of her constellation will most likely take a whole lot of time, especially if you are a free to play user. But she can do a whole lot of damage. Uh, the plunge attacks obviously do a decent amount. If you did the E ability, it's also going to transform all of your damage into electro damage, as I, we mentioned in the. Um, in the town descriptions now you can actually hold your e ability and go into the air teleport there and then do plunge attack if you want to it's actually pretty stylish and can be quite useful to deal with bigger groups of enemies obviously this uh, if you're just spamming it it's going to do a decent amount of damage as well the ultimate is pretty amazing uh, looking and uh, yeah, it's just really fun to use. Just make sure to be facing enemies and to have a proper distance or else obviously you might miss some of your targets. Now Kaching actually synergizes really well with fire characters, other electro characters, as well as ice characters for super conduct. Uh, right now we are running uh, this current team. So we're going to do a plunge attack and then we're gonna, let's see how it, how it goes. So decent crit um, for a um, Kaching, just plunging in the air. And this actually does a decent amount of DPS, even though the damage numbers are a bit low. But considering it's such a multi-hit, it's actually going to be quite good, especially against big groups of enemies. Now, don't forget that the e, the dagger ability can actually help you get to higher ground areas, which can be a little bit useful whenever you want to 
just climb a, a, an area really quickly or even like save up a little bit of stamina. Now probably one of the most important thing to know about Keqing is that she's actually really fun to play. And if you do own her, uh, you're most likely going to have a blast with just playing with a really fast attack speed. Obviously, if you get a weapon that increases attack speed as well, like a 5-star weapon, for example, it will be pretty fun to play. And overall, she just rocks the battlefield with style with just her super fast lightning moves. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to post in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. You can also join our Discord. The link is going to be in the description box. And as usual, if you guys want to hang out with us, you can just come join our streams that we do uh, every single day. As we just progress through the game, we're currently pushing Adventure Rank 40. We are ter currently 37. Trying our best to reach 40. Come say hi, just chat with us, and we'll do our best to answer your questions. Alright guys, thank you and have a good day.